Let's go. I know it's been a minute since I put out some content. I just been taking my break, um, you know, for uh, just to recuperate myself. You know, it's kind of a lot after a while. So taking that break was really good, and I had some life things I needed to get through and go through. But you know, that's enough. You feel me? Today, I actually got some good content for y'all. We are going to be lowering my 2012 golf on washers yeah bro let's get it so i already did the rear as you can see only on this side though um, just to know what I was doing. And it was really easy, to be honest with you. I used to run these solo work springs. Probably gonna keep just in case. Uh, I'm not gonna sell them. But ran these, and I'll show you on the other side. I have good fitment, but I wanted to be lower. I wanted to be lower, especially in the front. So I gotta match it up doing the back. Um, I don't know about the ride quality, but it is kind of bouncy already, but we'll see, bro, we'll see. So, as you can see, here's my fitment right now. Like I said, I think it lowered a little bit, like it used to be a higher, just like a little bit, like a little bit, not that much, but like over this, like over the tire, like I had flush fitment, but you know, I wanted to be static on 17s, like really, really static. Um, So, yeah, I don't know, my, my bumper looks off. But, so yeah, like I said, I had a good feeling, but I wanted to be lower because, you know, it just feels, it still felt stock to me. Look, stop. So that's what we're going to do. What I have is these washers from Ace Hardware. You can get them from Harbor Freight and Walmart, but I just prefer Ace Hardware because I feel like they make better quality stuff. They sell good, better quality stuff. So this is what I got. I think this is um, zinc. I was going to get aluminum, but zinc was stronger and we had these half inch. And like I said, right now, you can see how much lower I am compared to the other side. It's not that much, you know, it's not fender to lip, but I think it's okay for right now because it's not gonna, I'm not, I don't think I'm rubbing. Yeah, I still got a lot of space, probably when I'm bouncing, but for right now, I think I'll be good riding on this side. But, so yeah, um, now I'm gonna do the other side and show you my whole process in doing so. So for this video, you are going to need a 21, a 16, a 17, and an 18. Preferably all deep socket and with a power tool. This is called an impact driver. I would recommend getting one of this. Getting one of these is gonna make your job way much easier. You're also gonna need an 18 wrench. 19 is fine if you don't have so. And a 21 as well. And if not, you can use an adjustable. So first off, we're gonna start off by taking these, use a flathead, or you can use the pick that they give you. I personally like the flathead. So as y'all can see, there goes my old solo work springs. And as I said, these springs aren't bad. Like they rode good. The coils itself in the front, you rarely felt any bounce. But the spring itself, it felt like really good. It was like bouncing if you go on like real high speed, but other than that, you're really good. So now you're gonna get your 19. If I can find it. My bad, not 19, 18, correct that. And taking off this bolt right here. Now, since it doesn't want to come out, 
with the impact. Get your little ratchet. Uh, loosen up. What I do, I just loosen up a little bit. So then once I put the arm, um, not like too much, don't waste all your strength. I just loosen up a little bit. So then when I put this on, it will just turn easier just to get out that little bit of like dirt and debris. It makes it way much easier. Oh. Oh. So it was tightened. I'm not a professional. This is just a tutorial, not really a tutorial. It's just me showing you guys what I did. So don't think I'm a professional and stuff. So I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes because I'm still learning. Oh. Now boom, that's loosened. Then you wanna get your impact. And easy. Comes out just like that, not stripped at all, perfectly fine. Just make sure if you're scared, take your time, but you know, I promise you, you guys will be fine if you just follow what I'm doing. So now, take your 18 off and get your 21. Slap that bad boy on there, and like I said, I don't have a 21 wrench, so I'm going to be using this adjustable one that my dad gave me camera cut out so we're on the left side now so what we're going to do is put it um I don't know if you guys can see okay there's a bolt right here well a nut you're putting it right here and your ratchet is going to go right here and loosen it and then we'll hit it with the impact and take it off so what i'm doing right now because it's a little stuck remember i said about loosening it before you start trying to take it off so I'm using leverage. Remember, always got remember guys, always use leverage if you're struggling trying to unloosen something. So now that I just unloosened it because I had leverage, so now it's easier. And I use less work on myself instead of using a shorter range. Oops, my shoe came off, my flop. I'm pretty sure. It should just all right now that we got that out the way these are 16s but before we do that we are going to be taking out my spring so the spring as soon as you lower that where you take those apart they just pop right out if you have aftermarket ones oem uh struts i mean not struts what shocks there'll probably be like a little hassle to get out but doing those steps slide right out so now what i recommend is doing this this will be the hardest part so get you a breaker bar and put a 21 a 21 on here and you're just going to go on this side and loosen it from here this is the most easiest method because it took me like 30 minutes trying to figure and tackle this uh, one out because these ones up here are way much easier. So get your breaker bar, put a 21 on there and pop it right out. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see. I'm pretty sure you can because I can see. So there's two bolts up there. Like I said, get your 16, put it on your ratchet. First, I'm gonna use an extension and I'd advise getting Regular straight ones instead of wobble ones. I don't really like wobble extensions. They're not really firm to me. But get there, make sure it's on loosen. And just put it up there. And make sure you put it on all the way so you don't strip it the head. And boom. Just loosen it like that and do the other side. That, I could have been smart with that, but I knew it, was gonna, it wasn't gonna be that tight. All right, so now you just wanna take this off. This little cap, we're gonna be putting that back on there, so don't lose it. And you don't have to, but I don't know what it'll change. I'm pretty sure you don't wanna bang that anyway. 
Then you want to take off your extension if you put one on there, which I advise, because there ain't really no else way. You just be struggling yourself. Get this. Now you might struggle at first, but what you have to do is you push the shock all the way down, right? And then you get your impact. You're still using your strength, and then you loosen it. And you just loosen it. And it just slides right out like that. Easy. And what we're going to do is, one second, getting me just one washer for my car. You guys can play around like I before. I put 10 on here and then I put five and it was a little lower, but not the fitment that I wanted. And I just put one on there and got me the fit on fitment I wanted for right now, 17s. So I'm planning on getting 19s and it looks slammed and I'm not rubbing that too. So that plays a good part. So then you just line up your strut Make sure you got this thing back in here. It has to go all the way up. Boom. So then you get your ball. And always make sure you screw on stuff before you impact it so you don't strip anything. Common sense. Compress all the way down. Squeeze on again. And you just tighten and make sure you tighten it good because remember you're riding on this guys all right for the moment of truth now I got everything tightened and buttoned up let's see i didn't mean to go that fast also guys when you're doing this take your time because you don't know if you're going to bang your frame or whatnot or you might hit something but yeah man this is the rear. This is the rear of the car. See how high the front is, but yeah, this is the rear. Still clearing, I can feel it with my fingers. Like, this is crazy to me. Like, my coil should've came like this. Yeah, yo. Here's how it looks, how I am. And it's the same height. Now I'm about to go for a test drive. See if we good, and then we're gonna do the front. All right, so right now, I'm going back to Ace Hardware because the front um, coil that I have, you guys might be different if you didn't go Subtle Works or not, or if it, uh, stock shock, shocks, I keep getting confused. But um, this is not a half inch. I don't know what size this is. I'm about to go to Ace Hardware and find out. But my front of my solar works is not a half inch. So I'm going to buy another set of washers um, so I can put that on uh, flush. But yeah, just in case if you guys um, or don't know, if, it's not, if you're wondering why it's not fitting or whatever. So for the backs, get a half, a half inch. But you don't need a lot. It's getting about like 30. You don't need that big of a pack. It's only $9, but if you don't want to spend that much, like five bucks. So today's the next day. I just came back from Harbor Freight because my dumbass picked up the wrong size, the wrong fucking size, and it postponed my whole day yesterday. Like I could have been finished my front, I could have drove it, I could have been happy, and a lot of stuff. But no, my dumbass. Make sure you it's sad because I I quadruple check, man. Like it's it's so bad, but. It was the exact right size, but like a little bit tighter. So it didn't fit. Right now I got seven to eights. I'm pretty sure, I know for sure this is gonna fit. Before I had three uh, quarters or whatever, and it was like the exact size of this blue thing I used from the coil or whatever, or whatever. But now what makes it even fucking worse is that it's raining. It's raining, bro. So now I can't even work with my car now. I can't, I mean, Ah, I could put it in the garage, but the roof fell. So now I don't even know if I should put it in the garage to keep working on it. Then there's bad lighting. I don't know, bro. I mean, I really want to finish it today. I want to postpone it because I really just want to get it out the way. But we'll see. But 
Anywho, now that we got that out the way, we're gonna be lowering this side, and I'm gonna show you how. I already done this side, but I'm gonna make a, a few adjustments after I finish tightening up everything on that side, because this is like play and play on both sides. But for all around, I'm just gonna be sitting on one washer. I, cause the loss I can get and it will still be stiff. So if it bang or whatever, it has that one washer to sit on or whatever. But yeah, all this, my bad, my uh, phone gave me a power mode button. But all these is just sitting on one washer. Well, this is two, but I'm gonna lower it. Like probably, it's probably not gonna be noticeable, but there's one more, just to have that, you know, a little bit more clearance. But I'm still clearing like a lot more, which is cool. And I'm tucking my tire and I already, um. I already um like turned it and whatever and it turns fine so that's really cool but yeah so that's what we're gonna do just lower it one more and i should be low and i wouldn't be rubbing at all so let's get to it all right so first you want to start by taking off the bolt that holds the coil over in place what you're going to need is an extension with a ratchet so you can just put it in there and make sure you have it on loosen and the socket you would need is an 18 and make sure that's on loosen as well so you don't strip the bolt or mess up anything. And all you got to do is put the extension in there and impact it up. And boom, slides out just like that. Now your next step will be uh, I suggest you taking off, you know, the windshield wiper blades and this whole um, plate placement or whatever ground, whatever you want to call it, right here because it's you're probably not going to be running the same fitment as me. You're probably going to be higher. You're probably going to maybe lower. So you're going to have to like be taking off like this, like back and back, back and forth. Like I probably took this off like ten times on that side just to find out what the fitment that I wanted. I mean, it was easy, but it's a lot of putting in and putting back in place. So I would suggest keeping this off so you can, you know, be easier for you. But what you'll need is a 13. And all you gotta do, hold up. I thought a caterpillar just crawled on me. He's over there. So all you gotta do, impact it out. Make sure you don't lose your bolts because you need these. Put it in a little place whenever you keep them at. Like the last one, make sure it's fully on. And boom. So what I do with my coilover, huh? You mean, uh, so what I do with my coilover, this, I'm probably not gonna be able to, oh my bad, I lied, I forgot about this one bolt, the sway bar, that keeps this in place. And I believe that is a, oh, wrong size. 18 as well. Yeah. All right, so now that you got your coil over or strut out, and like I said, I would recommend coils because they'll be stronger than using a stock shock or strut, but what you're gonna do is get you a 22 inch, um, I'll be 22 millimeter socket. Just impact it out. Make sure you don't lose that bolt. And carefully, if you need to, I'd record everything that you do so you don't mix up the pieces. I mean, I already know what I'm doing, but you know, just keep everything stacked on each other. And what you're doing is taking the spring out because we're not using that no more. And we could just put this right on top so we don't lose it. And this, keep that right there. And then all you want to do is get your washers. I'm only going to put and use the flat at the bottom. I'm only going to put one on. I want to say two. But I think I'm only using one. Let me double check. I'm only using one. So, match the other side. I'll just make it sure. 
So then you want to put this back on where it was, put this on, keep it secure, make sure I have it all right. And you just want to put it up inside. Making sure everything is flush. Then you want to go ahead and get right back your uh, nut. Make sure you always screw on stuff first. And then I'm just going to compress it all the way down. Make sure it's tight. And then I'm going to just screw it on. At least I got a clean car now. Like, here's my axle boot. Like, this is worse than my first one when I dropped the subframe too hard. Like, bro, I don't even know how that happened. Like, it was just pooping out and then just popped out. Like, this shit is so weak, bro. Like, this shit pissed me off. And right now, I'm just working with this. I mean, it's shaking a little bit. Like, it's almost ready to come out, but this shit is a pain. Like, I could have been, like, done, put these extra set of washers on, and, you know, you feel me, finish with my car, but no, it just decided to break. <sighs> but, yeah, that's how my morning's going. Now I gotta, basically, yeah. Yeah. That shit ain't about nothing. We them niggas up to something. I fell in love with the hundreds. Niggas know how we coming. My brother walk around with a that nigga dumping. We can really get it jumping. Nigga talk down, we gon' up it. Okay, you ain't talking about no money. Nigga shut it. Niggas hang on me and I love it. Feel like a dad, nigga, I'll be sunny. Wait, what? This shit get hot like oven. You need to cut it. My nigga, chill, bro. Hey, Melo, we shoot Matt. Huh? Man, we shoot Matt. With your tool, hell yeah, nigga. If he fuck my shit up, I'm being dead ass. Like, chill, nigga. That shit almost hit me.